Okay, I'm going to go over a few things with the automatic CEO. Um, first thing I want to go over is I'm going to jump over here to my um, coach site. And I'm going to go to my business, my customers, customer search. And you're going to want to get all your customers and you're going to want to go down to here and you're going to want to go to this drop down. Come on. Supposed to drop down to, oh, there we go. You want to get it in Excel format. And I'm going to want to edit report. And I am actually advanced search. Go to advanced search. And I've got a lot of cause I have over they can, I guess you can do everything. You can do the whole thing with this. Um if you send an email out through Team Beachbody on this coach site, you can only send out 500 at a time. Uh, I have over 500, so I have to split it up. I have to go in here to customer source. I got some success club customers. I got, cus I got customers program, and I got my site. These are people I put in. These are people Beachbody gave me some success club. And so, but for you guys, for people who have under 500, you just say all. And you're just going to go pick them all. You're going to save report, give it a name, save it to your desktop or wherever. Because that report is now in an Excel spreadsheet of all your customers. And you're going to now send that to the automatic CEO. So let's just show you how to, um, you're going to send it to um, support at responsivedata.com, the email. So now I go back over here, and I'm just going to show you that once you get everybody in, um, they're going to be in here under My Contacts. You can uh, view contacts. So you've got your... Customers broken down in here, 517, I got qualified, 226, whatever. I, I pretty much, I personally put everybody in here that's got Team Beachbody account under customers. If they do something, I put them into qualified prospects. I mean, you can break this up way, this up any way you want. I mean, I'm not, to be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure what the best way to break these up. But I put everybody that's got Team Beachbody account, account in, uh, in here. Maybe you want to, if they're not, if they're just a new customer and you put them in yourself, maybe you want to put them, put them under new prospects. But you can break that down any way you want. But I had um, Responsive Data, which is Automatic CEO, the company. I've had them put them all on customers, under customers. So let's say I wanted to um, search a contact. I want to search it. I can search it in here by different categories. First name, last name. And that's how I would search somebody if you're trying to find somebody. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. Add a contact. If I get a new Beachbody, a Beachbody person, I'll add them in here. I'll put their first name and their last name and their email. I'll put them in an email come in an email campaign, which I'll go over in a little bit. There's a bunch of different email campaigns, and then um, you can put them under customers, or however you want to break it down here. And then I just say add new contact, and then they're in the system. I'll do those, you know, once a week. I'll go in if I get a, uh, you know a new customer from Beachbody. I'll put them put them in there that way. Uh, let's see what I got here. 
I don't deal with the import one. You can search and you can add. It's pretty much, and I can view my data. So move over to marketing. Uh, I wouldn't buy leads. Email autoresponders. These are all the different autoresponders that you have. I'll just show you a couple here really quick. So let's see. These are all the ones that they made, and then these are the ones that I made. These are custom campaigns that I made. So, for instance, like this one here, uh, if I get a new customer from Beachbody, I'll put them in this email campaign, and day one they'll get this email. Day two they'll get an email. It's a different one. And they're kind of like follow-up emails with, with my new customers. So I'll go through these different emails. It's one. This is just one campaign, kind of a follow-up. And if they answer you, you can take them out of the campaign. There's a bunch of different campaigns in here. Say there's somebody who asks you about T25. There's a campaign just for T25. First day they're going to get this. Second day they're going to get this email. Let's see preview. So, you know, it's kind of basically telling them all about T25. And they're going to get follow-up emails all the way up to the 32nd day. So those are all the email campaigns. Um, there's one in Shakeology. All the different P90X3, 21-day fix, Pio, you know. There's actually even a Pio landing page, which is... See what that says here. Somebody asked you about Pio, and every day they're going to get a, a, not every day, but day one, day three, day seven, day 14. They're going to get a little more information, not overwhelming them, but following up with them on, on things so that you don't have to follow up yourself. That's why it's automatic. So that's nice. It's really easy. Um, they got graphic and banners, they got business cards. Really haven't got into that. Then you got your landing pages. For instance, here's the landing page for, say you want, you just copy this link here and put it on your Facebook. Send it to a friend or whatever, 21 Day Fix, Pio. So let's just take a look at this one. Pio is stretch and strength and flexibility all rolled into one powerfully dynamic workout. Shoulders back, abs in like you're an athlete. Tell yourself this is easy. Are you kidding me? Pio is for people who just don't feel like yoga and Pilates is the right fit for them. It's for people who know they need flexibility training, but they want to get more out of it. Both arms, let's go! I think my performance overall, my balance is better, my posture is better. I don't have some of the nagging. So that's the um, Pio. Pio is extremely effective. Pio is just used. Just to give you an example. So those are those. I uh, really get into these. Now up here is your my account. My account it's got, like, if you wanted to send somebody, here's your referral program. So if you wanted to send somebody, there's a link. I would send that to them if you, I wanted somebody to join. And you got your, your basic stuff, all your information about your account. But if you wanted to send somebody a link uh, so they could join under you, this is the link you'd, you'd send them. And you got your people that are under you right here, down and through here. Um, one touch emails. These are kind of handy. Um, take a look at these. Say, um, so we got one touch email. Now, uh, let's see what this one is. We got something on July challenge packs. So, this is an email you can send to anybody you got in your system here. It's just a one touch email. It's going to go out to those people talking about all the different challenge packs for that month. And every month they're going to have a, a one-touch email with all the different July challenge packs. So that will change every month. Uh, you got an email just for about Pio. 
a one, little one touch email about Pio. Um, introducing the three day reset, just a little email so you can send these little one touch. You can send them in bulk or you can send them one at a time. So those are the one touch emails. There's phone scripts, I haven't used those. But if you wanted to like do some, you know, call people up, they have it all. A script is exactly what to say to people. And of course, they have the training guys and the training videos. And you got your help desk. You know, you get some information on there. So what I'll do is, let's say there's a certain person I want to send some, say, uh, you know, at the beginning of the month, let's say, I'll view, I'll hit view contacts, beginning of the month, and there's a new challenge pack. So what I'll say is I will hit this little button up here, name, and it says here all 25 contacts on this page or select all 848. So I'd say I'm going to hit through 848. I'd go to the bottom. I'd hit perform action. I'd send send an email. Then hit submit. And then I'd pick out what email template I wanted. So let's say I want to tell them about Pio's now available. I'd send them that. Or I'd send them information about this month's challenge pack specials. You know, which I might have already done. I yeah, I already I think I sent this out already. So they're going to get this email that's going to tell them all about this month's challenge packs. And just hit send email, and that's it. So every customer, or you can send them to one. So that's kind of handy. I do that like once a month, I'll do that. So what other things do I do in here? That's basically it. I mean, you can, oh, I know what I can show you. You, you want to make your own, oh, uh, let's see, your email autoresponders. Let's say you want to make, you want to change up one. Like I have my own that I made down here at the bottom. You want to like modify it. So let's say you wanted to do um, the Pio land, the Pio one right here. But you wanted to change it a little bit. So you got the Pio one up, right? So you go create new autoresponder. I didn't even have to bring up the Pio. I don't know why I did that. So you give it a name, my Pio, whatever you want to call it. Create from existing one. Pull up the one you want. I made mine down here, my Pio. That's why I call it my Pio. But that's one of my custom ones. So uh, let's say. Let's see, pile landing page. So you go to that, create autos, autoresponder. So what you can do now, call this a test here. You got to give it a name. Well, it's going to bring up that autoresponder, and then you can basically you can edit in any any one of those. Uh, emails that are in the auto responder, you can edit them. I don't know why it's taking so long. Here, let's try that again. Let's go create auto responder. <clears throat> Test. Then I'm going to say create new uh, from scratch from an existing one. I'm going to pick the one I want. Let's say I want to change the P90X3. I'm going to create our responder. So now the P90X3 one comes in, but now I can edit it. So I, thanks for kind of contacting me about P90X3. Well, I can go in there and I can change this up. I can edit some whatever they, you know, any way you want to edit it, you can change it and then save it. And then when you save it, it's going to go to the bottom under custom campaigns. Like I changed my pie a little bit. I changed it up a little bit. Put it. Uh, I, to be honest with you, I don't remember what I changed at it, but <laughs> I uh, made my own. 
and that's that's kind of cool. So that's kind of the basics of it. I will uh, make a YouTube video of this, hopefully, and uh, send it out. Or you guys will see it as YouTube video. What am I talking about? All right. <laughs> see you later.